This is Twit. What would happen, Lamar, if I had a product that I could sell you or someone in the audience that takes mm -hmm. away all advertisements automatically without without really installing anything on your computer? Mm -hmm. uh, you just you add this one piece of, of hardware to your system. And then no matter what computer, if you're on an iPad, you know, some, some browsers on mobile devices don't have extensions like, you know, uh, web, web, webs, sorry, desktop class uh, right. browsers do. <laughs> um, what would you say to this amazing product? I would say get it the hell out of here. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, this is the, an actual product that is being um, pitched. Uh, this is Ad Trap. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a little box that you put Ethernet in and you get Ethernet out and you add it before, say, your, your Wi-Fi router or right. something it's like a, that. It's a, pa it's a pass through. It's just a quick pass through. And what it promises to do is remove any and all ads from the Internet. This includes banner ads that are on the sides of pages. This includes pre-rolls pre -roll on YouTube. This is specifically one that they that they mentioned Um and you wouldn't ever have to deal with or see ads again yeah. on on the Videos internet. Are, yeah, and it's it's one hundred and thirty nine dollars. They're doing a, a Kickstarter a campaign for it. Um, you know what was interesting? Now they said they're working with certain brands uh, who would be interested in whitelisting. You know, it, maybe if they paid them, they wouldn't uh, like if Google said, "Hey, don't block our ads." You know, they would try to force Google to to pay. I think that's something similar to what yeah. uh, the extension AdBlock is doing. That's um, you that know, is trying to strong trying to strong arm. My, my opinion, AdBlock Plus is doing my AdBlock Plus. Yeah. yeah. My, my my opinion on this is like okay. So back in the day, I like everyone else in Firefox used Ad, AdBlock. When it came to Chrome, I used AdBlock. But that was before I became a creator. And once you you know you be, you start creating things and you see that a lot of people live off. This revenue model. When I started blogging, yeah. when I started doing, you know, then I appreciated them when I I, didn't, I, I took them out because I really thought about other people, and I know that's a moral goody two shoe thing, but but really, if you if you think about, you know, you stripping those ads, you're taking significant revenue from from people uh, because there isn't really a better model out there yet. Uh, yeah. There needs to be a better model, but there really there really isn't. I mean, like what we're doing, we're doing in in video. Or in podcasts, in show ads, which right. you can't skip. Uh, that I mean, that's that's a good way to start, but you know, there, you can't really do anything about it. So I, I don't know. It's it's one of those things that bugs me. I, I, you know, people will sit there and watch commercials. Not everybody has a TiVo, mind you. So you know, most people sit there and 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 watch commercials just fine. But on the internet, oh my God, how, how dare you, you know, make a living off of what you're doing? And that's the attitude that so many people have. Is that look, well, you know, you need to go, you need to go get a real job. 